Today we have the honour of marking an auspicious and special milestone. Ten years since the UN General Assembly adopted a resolution to officially designate 13 June as International Albinism Awareness Day, IAAD. Its app that this year's theme is thus named 10 Years of IAAD, A Decade of Collective Progress. Indeed, today we take stock of all the hard work and efforts that have been made in the last decade towards a full realisation of human rights for all persons with albinism around the world. I'm especially proud to recognise that the collective here includes valuable partnerships and cooperation forged among persons with albinism and their allies in all sectors of society. From the highest offices of government to local communities and homes, many hands have worked tirelessly to combat the discrimination and marginalisation that many persons with albinism experience. I'm delighted to note that since commemorating the first IAAD, we have seen remarkable progress in awareness raising and efforts to spotlight the human rights issues concerning persons with albinism. We have made significant strides in combating stigma, discrimination and violence that persons with albinism face. We have amplified their voices, challenged stereotypes, debunked dangerous myths and misbeliefs and advocated for their human rights in local, national and international platforms. Our collective actions have highlighted a myriad of issues at a global scale related to climate change, persons with albinism on the move, their right to health, education and employment, harmful practices related to accusations and of witchcraft and ritual attacks, hate crimes, root causes and attitudinal barriers that perpetuate discrimination and human rights violations against persons with albinism. We have emphasised time and time again that persons with albinism are among those left furthest behind when it comes to the SDG promises and that there is a dire need to systematically include them in the discourses and discussions that affect them, including within the disability movement. We have also underscored the need for strength and protection through legislation, policies or national action plans. I'm encouraged to see in the past decade the development of laws, policies and standards for the protection of persons with albinism at national, regional and international level. The increased inclusion of persons with albinism in the disability movement, as well as the extension of the counter-trafficking, counter-torture and anti-racism treaties to violations of rights of persons with albinism. Together, we have also seen persons with albinism empowered and equipped as human rights defenders and champions in various spheres of society. Persons with albinism are being recognised for their unique gifts, talents and skills. Organisation governments and advocacy groups have collaborated to launch media campaigns and strengthened efforts to raise their profile in order to foster greater understanding and acceptance. The annual International Albinism Awareness Day has and continues to provide an opportunity for advocacy efforts at all levels to tackle the systematic barriers that hinder the full participation of persons with albinism in society. We must celebrate these victories of the past decade and recognise the invaluable contributions that persons with albinism make in our communities and the world at large. However, as we celebrate our achievements, we recognise the journey towards a more inclusive and equitable world for persons with albinism continues to be marred by significant challenges and difficulties. There is ongoing prejudice and violence against persons with albinism in various parts of the world. I still continue to receive cases of attacks and killings, often perpetuated against the most vulnerable in our societies, our children. Socioeconomic disparities, lack of access to adequate standards of health, education and employment, coupled with systematic barriers to true equality and inclusion, continue to hinder significant progress in the realisation of their rights. Ac access to a simple bottle of life-saving sunscreen, for example, is still an unaffordable luxury for many persons with albinism in certain regions an indicator of how much work still remains in our pursuit for, of a just world for persons with albinism. As we reflect on the achievements of the past 10 years, we must therefore also renew our commitment and efforts to addressing the remaining challenges adversely impacting the rights and well-being of, of, of persons with albinism. This requires a multifaceted approach that engages all of us, the collective, and which will require more awareness raising, education, advocacy, legislative and policy reforms, and community engagement. In commemorating International Albinism Awareness Day today, let us therefore celebrate the resilience, strength and contributions of persons with albinism to our society. Let us reaffirm our commitment to promoting dignity, equality and human rights for all persons with albinism and let us continue to strive for a world where every person with albinism can live a life of dignity, opportunity and inclusion.
I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who have contributed in some way or form to strengthening the albinism movement and who are committed to continuing this journey with us. As we mark today's milestone of 10 years of collective progress, let us build on the success achieved so far and redouble our commitment and efforts to create a future where persons with albinism are, real, are empowered to realize their full potential. May we look towards the next decade and beyond with hope and optimism that together we can achieve a world without fear and discrimination for persons with albinism everywhere. I salute you all and wish you a happy International Albinism Awareness Day.